Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Imperial Raider for the Star Wars Armada game. Now this is an expansion, you have to buy the core set in order to make use of this. Um, my main focus today is just to quickly show you the two ship cards and the upgrade cards, and of course the model, I guess we'll start with that. I mean the tokens are nice too, but uh, you know, those things come in any expansion that you get. Alright, so here's a quick look at the model here. Pretty cool. You've also got uh, the base. It doesn't come pre-assembled, of course. I went ahead and assembled it already. And here are the ship cards. You've got uh, the Raider 1 and the Raider 2. The Raider 1 has a hull value of 4, 2 black anti-fighter dice, 1 command, 1 squadron, 2 engineering. And you can see the uh, different uh, dice here that you get depending on which direction you're facing. So basically, all blue and black dice. So at range 3, this thing does not fire at all. Although it's pretty maneuverable. At range 1, or speed 1 rather, um, it can have two clicks, which is nice, and it can even go up to four speed, but then you only get one click with each. But still, it's pretty maneuverable. Compared to a Star Destroyer's anti-fighter, this is pretty effective. And that comes with a price cost of 44, and you can see some upgrades down here. And then let's go ahead and compare that with the Raider 2. Uh, this one has a blue and a black um, anti-fighter die. So this one has two black and this is a black and blue. Same hull values, same command squadron and engineering values. Um, and it looks like the one on the left here, the Raider 2, is slightly different in terms of dice. This one has three blue dice and one black in the front, whereas that one on the right has two blue and two black. So still, at long range, this thing is not very effective. So you're going to want to get in close here, uh, you know, to actually do any sort of damage. Uh, of course, the speed looks the same. Yeah, they are. Okay. So yeah, uh, basically uh, roughly the same except for a small difference in dice and anti-fighter dice. Um, you've got uh, the same upgrades from the looks of it. Well, actually, they look a little different. This one looks like it has missiles, whereas this one has, uh, I think that's ion cannon or something. Uh, but anyway, this one has a cost of 48, and this one has a cost of 44. So in terms of cost, these two ships are relatively close to each other. Like, one doesn't stand out over the other, except, except um, you know, how they're going to be used. Uh, it looks like this one here, the Raider 1, is geared more toward anti-fighter, whereas the Raider 2 might be better suited for maybe a capital ship or frigate ship attack just because it has a blue die as opposed to a black die. But again, you know, you could use these interchangeably for either or in my opinion. Now as far as the uh, upgrade cards go, we've got Admiral Ozell here. He's a fleet commander. When a friendly ship resolves a navigate command, it may change its speed by an additional one. Okay, at a cost of 20 there. So one of the cheaper uh, fleet commanders. You've got uh, Admiral Montferrat, Mont okay. While defending against a ship, if your speed is three or higher, the attack is treated as obstructed. Well, that's kind of useful. Uh, after you execute a maneuver, if you overlap the ship, discard this card. Okay. Cost of five ordnance experts. While attacking, you may reroll any number of your black dice, and that fits well with this particular ship. Quad laser turrets. While defending at distance one, if the attacker is a squadron, you have counter one cost of five. SW7 ion batteries while attacking a ship. Each of your unspent blue accuracy icons adds one damage to the damage total. Cost of five. Rapid reload modification. The battery armaments for your left and right hull zones are increased by one black die. Uh, eight points there. The impetuous title. At the end of your attack step, choose one of your hull zones. You may perform an attack against one enemy squadron from the hull zone, even if the, you have already attacked from that zone this round. Cost of four. The instigator. Enemy squadrons at distance one are treated as if they were engaged by two additional squadrons, even if they are not currently engaged. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cost of four. And we're back to Admiral Lazell. Okay, so there you go. Uh, definitely an anti-fighter uh, geared kind of ship. I mean, this thing, I mean, does what Star Destroyers can't. Star Destroyers are great at blowing up frigates and nebula, you know, nebula and B frigates and cruisers at long range uh, with its forward guns. But this thing is designed to uh, fight off those pesky fighters that Star Destroyers are sort of... Uh, vulnerable to. So yeah, there you go, Raider Class. If you guys want to see um, any more gameplay, let us know. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.